the NNSCRA Offline and Online Racing at its Best presents Speed World. Stop number 28 on the Castrol GTX Cup Series brings us back to Charlotte Motor Speedway, Charlotte, North Carolina, as we're here today for the running of the Mellow Yellow 500 as we have the, it's the final night race of the season. And <clears throat> this race here, 20 laps less than what we had in the, in the Coca-Cola 600 earlier this season. It was, it, it, where it was a 60 lap event, and this is a 40 lap event here at Charlotte today. For the Mel Yellow 500. And here's your starting lineup on the pole. It is Charles Sanford in car 71. The Big Apple Market Chevrolet. Winner this season at the day race at Bristol. He is alongside Kyle Matthews. Whose only win came at the first Darlington race this season. In the Mel Yellow Pontiac. He'll be back He'll be back with this ride next season. Sanford will be going to the 24 car next season. Road 2 is car 52. Seth Cole in the Hurley Limo uh, Isaacs Track Shack Ford. He'll be alongside car number one, Trent Dunham. Dunham won a season at, at the Riverside. Seth won earlier at Atlanta. Row three has two-time winner Dylan Young in the Miller Genuine Draft Pontiac. He won at Richmond and again at Dover, the first Dover race. He won to say he also won a second Richmond race. He's alongside Joshua Osborne, two-time winner so far. He won the first race at he won the second race, I should, I should say, at Pocono. He also won the second Darlington race at Southern 500. Going to round number three, going to round number four, I should say, it's the only four time winner this season, season, season so far. Jessica Shelton, the number 11 Boas for Ford. She's alongside Quentin Moore, whose only win came at the first race at North Wilkesboro. Jessica won the second Wilkesboro race this season. She also won Martinsville, Talladega, and the Dead Night Race at Bristol. Going to round number five, it's car number 28, Keith Bass in Texaco Haviland Ford. Three time winners so, so far this season. And Cole Deaver, the GM Goodrun Chevrolet, he's won three times as well, too. Row number six is car 25, Colin Cropley, and number number 26, one number up, Tori Gossett. Both of them carrying car cameras in today's race. Next row down has car 66, Rafaela Duke, and beside him is number 94, Dylan Pote, whose win came at, Mar at the second Martinsville event this season. Next row down has car number five, Austin Reed, number four in the points coming in, 92 behind the leader. He's alongside number 15, that is Aubrey Scott, going from the Charlotte Sweep. He won a 600 earlier this season. Austin Reed's win came at Watkins Glenbow, and Austin also won a driver's in contention for the championship. Next row down is number 12, Christian Bracken, and number 90, Caleb Fogler. Fogler won the, the first Pocono event this season. Next row down is number 6, the Daytona 500 winner, Paul Minnick in the Valvoline Ford, and number 43, Mike Becker, the STP Pontiac. He'll be back with the STB ride next season. Next round is number 17. That is um, that is Reggie Fogelman, the Western Auto Chevrolet. That car's going to be back next season, but not sure where Reggie's going next season. Next, Alongside him is number 68. That is Ben Cohen, the Country Time Ford. Next round is Laura Chung, 75, the Raymont Oldsmobile, and number 83, John Andrews, and the Purex Ford. Next round is number 22. That is Mitchell Hodak and number 98, Ryan Brommer, who had a, who's had a, who's had some good runs the last couple of races. Races, but both of them were on short tracks. Let's see how he does at Charlotte. Next round is number 49. That is Tito McCoy and number four, uh, Eric Monaco. Next round, the man who dazzled them all in the All Star race here at Charlotte this season. That is Cody McGurk in the Milling Performance Ford. And beside him, number 30, Zachary Fitzwater. Next round is number 48, Wes McCoy, and number 7, Lyle Austin. And remember saying Lyle Austin's going to be back with another ride next season. Uh, we'll, we'll, see what, we'll, we'll see what Cropley says about that. And uh, next round is number 55, Jasper Engine Chevrolet. That is Alexander Rowe. And number 16 car, Ali Liara. The only driver this season in this, race, in this field so far who has not scored a top 10 finish this season. We'll see if she can change that today. Next row down is Nathan Orman, who was on the pole for the 600, but starting back in the back, this time from the, from the 500 miles. It's fun to see Nathan trying to move, move his way through the field. Beside him is number 18, and Noah Sewell in the Interstate Batteries Chevrolet. And starting shotgun is number 10, Andrew Miller in the Pure, in the pure Leader Chevrolet. And I'm, sure he's, and I'm not sure if he's in relation, any relation to Alex Miller, who won the, the Season 25 event here in the Charlotte for his first ever win. So... Here, it'd be good to see Alex try to come back here for the season, uh, for in future seasons. So we'll see what happens here. 
at Charlotte, 37 cars lined up for, for to wait the order to fire the engines, which should be in about a few seconds from now. For the Mellow Yellow 500, the 28th race of the Castrol GTX Cup Series season. Gentlemen, start your engines. Command given the fire the engines. Our third in-car camera, by the way, is going to be riding inside the car of Keith Batson. That's going to be your third in-car. So the in-car cameras today, Keith Batson, Colin Cropley, and Tori Gossett. That's going to be your three in-car in cameras in today's event. Pace goes to fill off a pit road. We'll be back for the start of the race right after this. <laughs> Pace Carly Seville to turns number three and four here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. It is Charles Samper and Kyle Matthews, the front row for this event here today as they come off the fourth turn. As Pace Car comes off on the pit road here, 40 laps of distance here today at Charlotte. We'll see who takes home the Melly Yellow 500 here in the 500 this season as they come to the start finish line. Green flag flies and boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys and girls. Kyle Matthews trying to fall in between Seth Cole and Charles Sanford, but nothing doing with there. Seth's going to go inside of Kyle for second place with the help of Dylan Young and Jessica Shelton as they come on the back stretch. And it's going to be Charles Sanford jumping out in front on the break in the turn number three. They come to start finish line. Charles will lead the first lap of this event. Here's they come to start as they come down to the inside. That goes to number two, Dylan Young. In the Miller Genuine Draft Pontiac, he'll be back with this car next season, as will Shelton, the number 11 car. She'll also be back, and same with the 28 car. Basson, he'll be back. So those three cars, the drivers will be back with their rides next season. Young to second position now, number two, as they come on the backstretch here. Keith Batson diving inside of Kyle Matthews for position in car number 42. She jump on board with Keith Batson. Jessica Shelton's going to cut in front of Batson and they come in the front stretch here as they come in as they head to turn number one. And Batson's going to push Jessica Shelton to the lead. That's where we found her last time at North Wilkesboro. And there's the rear bumper cam from Keith Batson's perspective looking right at Charles Samper and the, and also you know, also got a shot at the five guard of Austin Reed. Rafael Aduc trying to get himself back in the points contention at 66 car. He was the points leader by a long margin, by a wide margin about a few races ago. Then some bad luck at Richmond and Dover kind of, and also Darlington kind of offset all that. As they come on the back stretch now, Shelton leads her first lap of the race. And now, and now Leduc goes inside. Leduc in for, hopefully, hopefully for him, we'll get a a points harvest here today, at, like uh, some of the drivers ahead of him had 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 done. And Raphael gets a good start here. He leads his first lap of race. And how about Christian Bracken at 12 car? Christian Bracken to the left side. He wants to go for the. He wants to lead a lap. And I tell you, since we switched to this version of Charlotte, there's some seasons back though. We have had some competitive racing here on this very track here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And Paul Minnick's going to move Bracken up the track now. As they come off the fourth turn, Bracken, the number 12, rebests is Ford. That car's going to have Meineke as a sponsor on that car next season. And you'll see the Valvoline Ford once again next season as well, too. And as far as who drives that car, that's going to be a good question. <laughs> but Paul Minnick's going to take the lead right there as... as LeDuc, who won the Winston 500 at Talladega earlier this season, he led his couple laps of this race, and here comes Lara Chung. She wants to go for the lead. Ford in first, Oldsmobile in second position, then you got another Ford in third spot with Mitchell Hodak. And Mitchell Hodak has never won a Castrol GTX Cup Series race. It could be a first for him in this track. And this race has been known for first-timers. We mentioned Alex Miller was one of those guys back in season 25. And, a, and I think Matt McIntyre, I think, also got his first win, uh, first Castrol Cup Series victory on this track as well, too. I may be wrong on that. It was either here or North Wilkesboro, one of the two, where he got his first win. But still, um, so... So a lot of times you never know who's going to win in, in, in some of these races here. As it kind of as it goes on turn number one, Dylan Poteet 
wants to go for his second victory of the season. Right there, he's going through turns number one and two. And he'll take the lead away from Paul Minnick. And here comes the 600 winner, Aubrey Scott, in the 15 car, the Motorcraft Ford. <coughs> You'll see that car again next season as well, too, the Motorcraft Machine. Off the fourth turn to come, and now John Andrews looks to go to the inside take, to, try, to try to take the top spot away. Fast lap race so far, set by Nathan Orman, 169.46 miles an hour. Almost topping 170 miles an hour here at Charlotte Motor Speedway as they come in the back stretch now. And here come, and how about Wes McCoy and Lyle Austin moving their way up to the field as well as the 10 car? You remember. Andrew Miller started this race dead last, and he is now up in the top 10 on that number 10 machine. Fourth car, in, actually, yeah, he's fourth car allowed on the inside lane. Cody McGurk led the last time by by just a smidgen over Wes McCoy, but now McCoy dies, goes to the lead now. Lyle Austin, here comes Nathan Ormond. 33 cars, it's been a frustrating season for Ormond so far, but. Hopes to salvage something in the in the late in the late stages of the season. Same with some of the other guys that as we mentioned, we mentioned uh Wes McCoy, Lyle Austin, and Andrew Miller. And same with the 18 car, Noah Sewell. You'll see the 18 car back next season, but not sure if Sewell's gonna be driving it next season though. And if you know Colin Cropley, he wants results out of his team though, if you know that though, and some of his team and some of his team team has not produced any. mentioned Ali Liara, the only driver who has not scored a top 10 this season. She's trying to change all that this uh, uh, last few races as well, too. That 16 Keystone Beer car. I think she's going to be back with this car next season. If not, if not, she'll be back with the 16 car when the Family Channel becomes a, uh, becomes a sponsor of that car in season for season 37, or season 38, excuse me, when we go to the 1994 car set. Season 39 is when we're going to go to Cup 98, by the way, for the 1995 set. So, a uh, little announcement for that here for, this, for the Cup Series, for the Castrol Cup Series. As they come out of turn number four now, and whoa, that 98 car, Ryan Brommer, cuts right in front of the 55 car. And I'm sure Al I'm sure uh, Alexander Rose, like, uh, what was that all about, Ryan? Ryan Brommer trying to get trying to lead his first lap of the race here, and he just came 500 of a second short of doing so to Noah Silva. Here comes Alexander Rose. Says, "Okay, you cut in front of me last time. I'm going to do the same thing to you this time." And he's going to get the help from the 30 car, Zachary Fitzwater, in the Pennzoil Pontiac. And it's going to be Alexander Rowe leading his first lap of the race here, as we're 14 laps in the book or 13 laps in the book, I should say. Now with 27 to go. Here at Charlotte Motor Speedway, this race is coming along very well here. Pontiac's first and second, here comes the Ford. Quentin Moore is going to push the 43 car of Mike Becker. Two of the more, two of the most iconic numbers in all of NASCAR, and also the most iconic teams as well too. Petty Enterprises and the Wood Brothers, going back to the days of David Pearson and Richard Petty back in the 70s here in, in, in NASCAR in the sport of NASCAR. And whoa, and that was, I thought that was going to be a wreck right there as as Quentin Moore got inches away from the 43 car of Mike Becker trying to get away from the 52 of Seth Cole. And now Kyle Matthews goes inside, he's going to look for the lead on the 52 and he'll take it. So Kyle Matthews goes to the lead and here comes Eric Monaco is going to try to steal that left from Matthews to the start finish line. Matthews leads it by just a bumper at the fin start finish line. Saw the look from Cole Deaver's perspective right there, four, our fourth in car camera in this in this race. And there is a look from Tori Gossett's perspective, car 26. And the start finish line that come right now is you ride with Tori Gossett and you just you just ride with her on. To, and, and she leads the lap here, and you were riding with her when it happened here, and now Cole Deaver. 
goes to the lead in car number three, and he's got Keith Batson behind. And Cole David's been a and for Cole David's been a miserable last few races for him, including a dead last finish at North Wilkesboro, and he has been and he's and he's trying to get that championship back that he lost last season. And ironically enough, he lost it to the man who's right behind him right now, Dylan Young, in the number two car. Young is not really in championship contention this season. But he can sure screw, uh, mix things up here. <laughs> Backstretch now, they come here. Caleb Fogler goes to the top spot now, and he's got a 68 car of Ben Cohen and the 8 car of Joshua Osborne and for Osborne he lost a lot of points last race in the tour at North Wilkesboro and trying to hang on to that lead there in contention for his third championship in this series Osborne's titles came in seasons 2 and 19. That was the seasons he's won the championship here. And Joshua hoping to hold on. But here comes Trent Dunham. Car number 1 and Colin Cropley in 25. And the 6th of Paul Menick. All behind him. <clears throat> Almost halfway home now. This will be the completion of lap number 19. We have 21 laps remaining here at Charlotte. Three blue cars on the inside lane, a 22, 71, and 12 cars are all going for all going for it here. As you see, um, Hodak in third position, Sanford trying for fourth, and he's got it now in a 71 machine. And all who lead that lap between the six and 25 cars, it's, it was Cropley by inches up by a, by a couple of feet over Paul Menick. 20 laps down, 20 to go here at Charlotte. Now Austin Reed and Jessica Shelton trying to make their way up to the field there in the 5 and the 11 cars. Austin Reed, though, as we mentioned, fourth in the points coming into this race. Jessica Shelton, though, he moved her way up to sixth position in the points after winning at Wilkesboro, the last race on the tour. Trying to get herself a top 10 points finish here this season as they go into turn number one now. And for Austin Reed, I think this will be the best, his best ever season as well, too. I think if I may... Remember correctly right here, he's fourth in the points. And if he holds on to a top five finish, it'll be his best finish of the season in his career in this series. And that five card has been running, has been one of the strongest cars in the last half of the, in the second half of the season for sure. Had some dominant runs here, but have not, really, have, but have not uh, manifested itself in the wins. But um, he did he did get a win under caution, of course, at Watkins Glen, though. But a win's a win, nonetheless, for that five team. So he so he did so he didn't quite skunk him this season as far as wins are concerned. John Andrews up to second position now, trying to chase down Jessica Shelton, the leader of the event now, as they come off the fourth turn. And see what Andrews does. Goes is he is he is he going to go to the inside? Yes, he does. But Shelton's going to lead the lap. And now Rafael Duke, Dylan Pote, Kyle Matthews, and Nathan Ormond all right there behind the 83 machine. Off the, off the second turn they come, and they see Andrews pulling ahead. Shelton falls back in behind. But that freight train on the inside lane. It's got the advantage now as they come off the fourth turn. Rafael Leduc goes to the top spot now, and here comes number 94, Dylan Pote. Low side of the track, and Poteet Paul Short leading that lap here. Leduc leads it that time by. And now 42 car, Kyle Matthews dives inside, scoops in behind the 94 machine. And here comes Nathan Ormond's going to try to make a run to the inside lane. He's going to try to move Kyle up the track. No, he does not. Matthews able to fall in front of that 33 machine. And Wes McCoy and... Cody McGurk, they're making their way through the field right now. West up to fourth position now in the number 48 machine. Cody McGurk right behind. Same with Tito McCoy, 49, and the seven car of Lyle Austin.
This race there going by very quickly. This time, by, this time by, I'll be down to 14 laps remaining here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. This time by, as there'll be 26 laps in the books. And Wes McCoy looking to lay his first lap in this race. The Rumpel Racing Pontiac down the low side of the track here. And Wes does indeed lead his first lap of the race. Cody McGurk, second position now. Cody McGurk, he also, likewise from the McCoys, has also never won in this series before. Meter has a seven of Lyle Austin. He also has never won in this series. We talk about the possibility of a first-time winner. Well, well, we'll see if that happens today or not, tonight or not. Noah Sewell has, has won twice last season, though, but not had much luck in that 18 car. Aubrey Scott looking for his second victory of the season. Fast slap race so far, set by the driver who leads right now, Tito McCoy, 170.288 miles an hour. In fact, top three car speeds over 170 miles an hour here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. But still a lot of racing left to go, though. 28 laps down, 12 to go. And I thought there for a minute, West Mc Tito McCoy was going to was going to get stuck in the middle right there. But now Noah Sewell dies inside lane. Sewell, as we mentioned, won last won two races last season, one in Atlanta and the other at Michigan. Both of them were in that Snickers Buick that that he ran last season. And so far, no luck this season with Joe Gibbs Racing. So far, and as we mentioned, that could change tonight as they come out the fourth turn. Now, Laura Chung. Who had the dominant car at Martinsville a couple races back there. She let that one get away from her, unfortunately. She wants to get her first victory of the season. Some big names out back there. Austin Reed, we were talking about him a while back right there. Charles Sanford, Quentin Moore, Mitchell Hodak, all of them back in the pack. Same with Keith Batson, Jessica Shelton, several others are off the fourth turn now. On board with Keith Batson in car 28, running right now in the 24th position, 25th position to make that. He's on the inside lane, so that could prove beneficial for him. Right behind the four car of Eric Monaco, the Kodak Film Chevrolet. And there's a look from Tori Gossett's in car camera, and then the Quaker State Ford. Running in eighth position right now, right behind the Hever, Seth Cohen, seventh. Colin Cropley's perspective, car 25, the Kodiak Chevrolet. As he's trying to get himself a win here today. Thought he had one at North Wilkesboro, and, 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 and that one got away from him as well, too. Dylan Young, out in front now. Seth Cole to second position as, we, as Mike Becker led the last time by in the 43 car. And whoa, 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 Seth and Tori, they both uh, pulled a fast one in that 25 car as they, squeeze, as they squeeze right in front of that 25 machine. Now Cole Deaver pulls in behind that three car. Well, that was close to the line between the 26 and the, 20, and the 52 cars there. It was Seth Cole who led the last time by. Now Gossett goes to the lead. And Cropley wants to lead his first lap, and so does Tori. She wants to lead her first lap of this race. And now Gossett, well, Gossett's going to be a sitting duck that time by as, as here comes Cropley to the left side. Trent Dunham pulls him behind. He's got Joshua Osborne shoving him in the in the eight car. Six laps to go in the Melly Yellow 500 at Charlotte. Trent Dunham out in front. Here, Colin Cropley leads his first lap of the race. Mint. We always talk about leading the lap of the laps, the laps of the race here. You, know, you get five bonus points for leading for leading a lap in any given race in the series. 
And you get also get five additional bonus points for if you're the driver who leads the most laps. I'm not sure who's got the most laps led in this race. There, we'll find we'll find out though when I when I post a we'll find out when I uh, post the standings here. As we always say, when we're packed up this tie, this tie here, you paid your money. Now take your choice. Who do you think's gonna win it? Off the fourth turn, they come here. Number twenty-eight, Keith Batson, to the Texaco Haviland Ford to the low side here. Well, up in the high side now. Here comes Caleb Fogler, number ninety car to the low side, trying to get himself a good finish here. Ben Cohen, he's not yet won a season as well, neither. The, the man who won at Bristol last season, the night race at Bristol last season. Trying to get his first victory of the season here. Number number six car, Paul Minnick looking for his second. He won the Daytona 500. The first race of the year. And it's not scored since. Reggie Fogelman, he's never won a series. Neither has Christian Bracken. Neither has here. As, uh, this, this could be a first for them, too. Quentin Moore looking for his second victory of the season. Ryan Brommer looking for his first of the season. Laura Chung, who's who's in the right spot? Who's in the right place? That's the, that's the question here. Well, I tell you, at this point in the stage of the race here, you never know. Off the fourth turn to come here. Fogelman coming down here. Here comes... Here comes Quentin Moore trying to, oh, the 12 car trying to squeeze in front of that 21 machine. Two laps to go. I thought, I thought, oh, boy. Yeah, Moore just managed to say, no, uh Christian Bracken, you're not winning this race. And Ryan Brommer, his last one came in last season at Michigan. He wants to get a win here this season. Laura Chung. Is in there, is in this mix as well as the 66 Rafaela Duke. Who's gonna win here? Charlotte off the fourth turn. Here comes Bomber to the low side. White flag. Ryan Brommer out in front. Can he pull off an upset here? Laura Chung to the low side. 75 car. Can does she does she make a move? Here comes 66 car. That's Rafaela Duke to the low side. He spots the party about 75 car, and that should do it all. That should do it right there. Here to come off the fourth turn. He won last season in the second race at Michigan. Now he wins here today. Ryan Brommer wins the Melly Yellow 500 at Charlotte. Ryan Brommer, the number 98 Mel. Molly Black Gold Chevrolet with the upset win here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. How about that? I mentioned the second race at Michigan he won. It was actually the first race at Michigan he won last season as well, too. So that was his last win. This is only his second career victory in this series. And, boy, we talked about the good runs he had at North Wilkesboro and, Sh and Martinsville, though. But you weren't sure about the mile and a half at Charlotte? Well, there, there, uh, that answers our question right there. As the Molly Black Gold number 98 goes to victory lane here today, averaging 166.846 miles an hour. And there's the uh, finishing order here. Rafael Duke comes on second position, 74 thousandths of a second, the margin of victory here. And how about Wes McGoy's first top five finish? He ends up finishing third. Laura Chung, fourth. Fifth goes to Mitchell Hodak. Quentin Moore, sixth. Charles Sanford, seventh. Reggie Fogelman, eighth. Ninth goes to Zachary Fitzwater. And Seth Cole finishes in tenth position. Christian Bracken comes home eleventh here today. Twelfth goes to John Andrews. Caleb Bugler, thirteenth. Kyle Matthews with a fourteenth place finish here today. Fifteenth to Paul Minnick. Austin Reed. Come some 16th position here today, so I'm, it's going to be interesting to see how the points shake up here. I think LeDuc might have been ahead of, I'm not sure if he's ahead of um, of um, Reed or not, but um, we'll, I'll check the points here. But uh, anyway, um, Austin Reed comes some 16th position here today, and I think he finished ahead of a, a lot of the contenders as well, too. 
Uh, ben Cohen, 17th. 18th goes to Andrew Miller after starting 37th in the in the, in the field here. A good run for Andrew. Um, Keith Batson, 19th. 20th goes to Dylan Pote. 21st, Joshua Osborne, the points leader. 22nd goes to Aubrey Scott. 23rd, Trent Dunham. 24th, Lyle Austin. Eric Monaco, 25th. Cody McGirt, 26th. Then Colin Crappie. He's not going to be happy with that one at all. 27th here today. 28th, to Tina McCoy. 29th, Tory Gossett. And 30th goes to Cole Deaver. Dylan Young, 31st. Ali Liara, 32nd. 33rd goes to Mike Becker. Alexander Rowe, 34th. Jessica Shelton, not a good day for her at all. 35th here today. 36th goes to Noah Sewell. And Nathan Orman, unfortunately for him, the last card across the finish line in 37th. All 37 cards finishing, all of them on the lead lap. <sighs> so we said the Mellie Yellow 500. Always exciting. Well... There you go. It, uh, it was an exciting Mel Yellow 500 here today at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And congratulations once again to Ryan Brommer, the winner here today in the Mel Yellow 500. If you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to the Inner Source Sports and Gaming channel. We got everything on this channel. We got, we got Inner Races. We got, we got gaming videos. We got Inner Online videos. Whatever the president of the Inner Source Sports and Gaming series said, the cold desires to have. First channel, first channel. Be sure to check out Seth Store Cell Cups. There's the main series on this channel. And if you want in on future seasons and Seth series, be sure to get with Seth and he'll get you going. And also be sure to check out our other two channels that does NS our other channel does NSRA offline. That channel being X8675398558X. It's Dylan Young's channel, the man who does the NSRA Spectrum Mobile Cup series. And also be sure to check out um, the channel he and Kyle Matthews does together. That channel being Weed the Coaster. So if you are a roller coaster such theme park, such amusement park fan, then Weed the Coaster is the, is the channel for you. And subscribe to that channel for some cool stuff as well too. And also subscribe to this channel you're watching here, the NSRA Sports and Gaming channel for some cool stuff as well too. So that will do here today at at um, Charlotte Motor Speedway for now is James Coles. It's been a production of the industry celebrating 11 years of offline racing at its best. We'll see you at Rockingham, North Carolina for the AC Delco 400.